Hello and welcome. My name is Stephen Dickens and we're here at Chair for a Future and Research live from the show floor. And I'm joined by my good friend, Mike Dorman. Yep. Mike, thanks for joining us. No, thanks. One of my favorite things to do is talk about myself. So yeah, this should be good. This, I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. It's great to be in person. You can feel the buzz on the floor. People starting to get back, see each other. This community thrives off this. It's really good. Yeah, you really feel an energy. And once you get past the 10 minutes of mandatory discussion about what did you do for the past two years, <laughs> it's been really, really exciting. So let's tell the listeners and watchers here what you do for Broadcom. Sure. So I'm the director of product management for what we call core infrastructure. So that's a lot of products that our clients are using to manage their enterprise, things like XCOM or uh, some session manager tools like uh, TPX, also MRIs in that portfolio. So Mike, tell us a little bit about, you've obviously, Broadcom's got a lot of sessions at the show. What are the big things you're talking about whilst sure. you're here? There's a, a lot, there's a really cool theme, as you can't tell by my shirt, of us talking about a, a sort of a matrix theme. Um, and as part of that, we're really uncovering the mainframe and, and showing out where, where it really is. So some of the stuff we're doing on the expo floor actually is our MRI software, just like MRI doctor software can look at a healthier machine. We can do live demos, if you're brave, of your own data and show you how your system could be better optimized, You know what software you could be taking better advantage of, new features you could be doing, security that you could be getting an advantage of. So that's one of the cool things we're showing. So really a health check of kind of your current system and how you could be improving that? Exactly. One of the cool things about MRI, and, and if you do Ashish on the show floor, people get to talk to them, is a lot of we have these uh, software solution reports, these SSRs, which you're entitled to just by having those Broadcom, the pieces of Broadcom software. So there's no cost for being able to do that. Oh, so this is a free value add to your customers to help them sort of check the health of their mainframe and see where they are? Yep, those SSRs are, and then we'll let you do the full product, which has a lot more capabilities, and, and that you can do for- Oh, here for we go. Hey guys, and I gotta tell you, at Broadcom, we're all about investment and driving more value to our customers. That comes from doing things like these no-cost analysis of the environment, investing in skills, and investing in adding great new people to our team. So Greg, you've joined us. Tell us a little bit about what you're seeing from the executives that you're talking to at the show. A lot of excitement. I mean, as Mike said, everybody has been eager to get back together in person. But people really have this new realization and appreciation for the platform. They've seen how it was able to handle and expand and be flexible, all the upticks and everything going on online digitally with, the, with COVID, the pandemic, everything that was driving more of an online presence. And the reality is that's the new norm. It's with us going forward. Everybody's interacting digitally. People aren't using cash so much. People aren't going to the store. They're having everything come to them. We're seeing this digital transformation. I think we've seen probably the last five, we've seen five or six years worth of digital transformation happen over the last couple of years. We've seen that consistently of we, as we get briefings. Is that what you're seeing when you hear and speak to your customers? So to really make sure you get to see this investment, I'm going to leave you in his real capable hands. Fantastic. You Thanks guys. for joining us, Greg. Love the interaction. Love being able to see Thanks, everybody Greg. out there. Go get nice him, Mike. So the boss man comes know, in. See? No pressure. Nothing. So, Mike, what else are you seeing whilst you're here? There are lots of clients here for the first time in a couple of years. Chance to get that feedback in the hallways. What else are you hearing? One of the consistent topics that we've been talking about, and, and I think all of us in the mainframe ecosystem has been this idea that, you know, the mainframe is a part of everything we do in business, right? It's there, it's the most secure platform. It used to be this platform that customers can, our, our customers considered their competitive advantage, right? They would advertise the fact that they were running a mainframe. So we did a lot of investment and I think our clients have done a lot of investment um, using the APIs that we've released, the openness to this platform. And I'm absolutely starting to see the fruits of that, right? So we're seeing partners who are integrating better with our software. We're seeing brand new skills, you know, newer people to the mainframe coming, sometimes not even knowing that they're reaching in and attaching their cloud software to mainframe software. It's very cool stuff. Seeing those APIs and that, a lot of that openness come through to the mainframe, that's been a consistent theme from some of our conversations. What would be the three key takeaways from people either watching online or here at the show that they should be taking from Broadcom's presence? So I think we talked a lot about it. So I'll start with open first strategy that we have at Broadcom. Uh, I think we have a lot of strong evidence 
um, with some of the work that our clients are doing, some of the partnerships that are coming out of, out of our partners that are presenting here, utilizing things like our RESTful APIs of our software. So I think the sort of the proof is in the pudding that our investment in the last three years has been worthwhile. So we're seeing clients take advantage of this open first strategy and expose this value of the mainframe much further in their enterprise. So that would be one. Uh, since I covered MRI, I'd like to talk about it again, and especially because we have a presence here at the, at the actual conference. Um, that is a really cool cloud, hybrid cloud solution that we're actually using to give value to the mainframe, right? So we're sort of demonstrating that ability to connect what is the cloud world with the mainframe world. And so we're delivering that service as a service. It's continuously improving. More and more reports are coming out all the time. I would love uh, people to, to take this as a chance to go learn more about it. And there's plenty more out there. And if they're here, they can talk to Ashish on the show floor. And if they're brave, run their own report with their own data. And then last, there's been a lot of good DevOps content. Um, so really a modern DevOps approach to, to developing on the mainframe, to developing with the mainframe, uh, definitely take a look at that stuff. Mike, great conversation. Loads going on with Broadcom this week. Really great to see you again in person. Nice to see you too. So thanks for joining us on this episode of Future Research Live from the Show Floor. We'll see you again next time.